Hi, and welcome again. Uh, today we'll try to work with uh, our controllers, as we mentioned in the last videos. Uh, so this will be video number eight. Uh, today we'll try to create, uh, let's say, controller number uh, one. This will be uh, four. Uh, check which one we'll try to do today. Okay, we'll try to uh, add the course controller. Okay, let's add controller. Let's take empty one. Oh, name will be course controller. Studio take time to go generate the controller. It's too much. That's it. Let me just uh, rebuild it. I don't know why it's. Oh no. Close this one. Everything fine. So, so this is our controller. First, th first things we need to. Uh, make a declaration for our uh, uh, db underscore context why context we don't need context we need our oh, say, sorry uh, read only i of course okay mm. rs Okay, I will cut underscore uh, course RSV. Okay, that's the first one. So, the second thing I need to create my uh, COT CTOR, my uh, controller uh, constructor for this controller. Will be underscore course is that uh, sorry equal or underscore i course. So in the index of this uh, controller, uh, we need to make uh, or need to create uh, a list for all these courses. So it will be underscore course uh, dot. I will get uh, get courses, so we'll get all courses like this. Easy, easy. Okay. Uh, second controller. Uh, second. Oh, I'll generate this one first, uh, which will not take time to. Let's say add view. Will be index. After that, it will be a list because more than one. Will be for courses. Uh, we don't need anything here, just this one here, and okay, add. After this one, we can add a new uh, action co action result. Will be I think we'll uh, put add. We can put remove. After that, we can put uh, this one fine here. Okay, let's put. We have here edit details. Did it. Oh, we don't need any one of them. Let's take, let's take create. Okay. Uh, let's say public i action result return view same public i action result okay the return view so this one will be http get and this one will be http post 
but here you need to add core self. Okay, no, just course. There is call. Let's add the fields. Let's call it model. Okay, return this one to here, but first, okay. Uh, now, after we read, read this one, we should uh, insert them to our database. But first of all, we need to check uh, model state if everything is valid. So after that, say underscore uh, course dot add what I want to send there, just models. Okay. After that, you can say return where. Uh, redirect to to what uh, maybe redirect to action yeah to redirect to action let's use this one to which action after we add it automatically will back to let's say to back to index to our list that's it here save it rebuild everything's fine come on Yes, so let me create the view. Will be create. Let's choose this one here too. Which class will be courses and add. I think now we can't test it. Okay. Uh, let me just open again SQL Server. And same time, run this one. Just to check our tables, all is empty, nothing there. Something happened there. Time out operation. I think my laptop needs to restart. Okay, let's run money. Okay, again, run it. Our database, student TV. Now we are working on uh, courses. Select. It's now empty now, nothing there. No, so our uh, controller name core okay on if we win go to index it will be empty nothing there that's great okay but if we uh, press and create a new will take us to this one and we'll write let's say math I got it hours how many hours let's say 50 hour create should be created and send us to this one that's great Let's go to our uh, SQL Server. That's it here. So if someone asks you where is the ID here, I can't see the ID. Special on the creation, uh, you just write here. We write only English. Let's say uh, 50 hours, and uh, there is no ID. ID will be generated automatically from SQL Server. If you remember that before, we said uh, if you go here to Design, okay. Choose your ID here. You can't see here. Uh, I think you can remember it from the first video. We write and then identity. We put it yes. We'll increment always one one. So uh, first one was uh, number one and second one number two. Okay. And same here. If you execute it, this ID will generate it from SQL Server. Okay. Uh, the second things. What we have here, okay. We can uh, write edit if you want, or details, or uh, delete. Details, I will leave it after, and edit, I think we can write delete now. Easy. Edit, not too important, but we can do it too, no problem. Easy. Uh, let me write now uh, delete. Okay, let's close this one here. 
let's go here on the bottom let's say public okay and uh, I action what we give name there let's go back to the view see here we have folders for each controller we'll have folder now let's say index what we call it here for delete 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 yeah nothing different okay all that return view view uh, delete is different maybe uh, how to say to you because here we'll have well okay let's try it in a normal way again public let me see here because here we'll have ID because we'll send ID course ID to the delete okay let's say int ID what I want delete uh, okay so I need to find this ID first I need the core okay I need to say uh, db in tt equal or let's say module equal underscore course dot delete our remove view account before so why we add here you don't need to add anything here okay because he did it already in our Mm, but here we should check our ID it's if ID equal equal null okay HTTP not found HTTP I don't know we'll try to find after that I think HTTP not found or mm, I have time to find after let's leave it like this null to equal null this one I will find that here we can but uh, and this one should be here now and if you put it here now should be in our everywhere we should change it now forget this one should be so let's back to we are in the courses now should be here to now even this one should be now and if we back to our uh, repository its course repository which one will give us errors here this one and this one now it's great my courses okay come this one that's fantastic no problem Here after we delete it, we should uh, return. Uh, let's say a redirect to where mm, I say to action. I think let's back to index. Okay, let's save. Let's say uh, add view. Did courses uh, 
That's a great. Mm, it's a great. Okay. Now we can run it if you want to check it. We can't do it now, I think. But let me put this one here. Uh, should add something here. Mm, we can write HTTP uh, not found method but should be implemented mm. just let me check this one here no okay just run it without it now after back to it just click it We're back in controller course index. So now, if I want to delete any one of them, just as you see down the button here, they said for you uh, which action will exit run now and which ID. So let's delete math, delete it. But if you want, we want we can put, uh, confirmation maybe you can put or something other in the future you can delete it because will be give you error because this course will be 